girls, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 2024. 2023 didn't end too well for me uh, at the end of last year, as you know from my last video. We did end up losing the GATM3. That's all been written off now. We're now on the 2024 new car hunt, which I don't know what that looks like right now because at the moment, I'm running the E92 M3 as my daily. So I've been kind of experiencing going from 29 MPG to 17. But what I will say is, and we'll get onto that later in the video, how much fun it is to drive a manual V8 in this weather. So I am gonna try and get better at making videos once a week for you guys. I have employed somebody, somebody is new to the team. Say hi, this is Fraser. You'll be seeing a lot more of Fraser this year and he's gonna be helping me get, get my done. For 2024, we're gonna be running my first ever four event full drift program, which is quite exciting. But what comes with that is A, a lot of responsibility. B, I need to sort a lot of bits out and C, I needed a bit of help, so Fraser's gonna be along for the journey with that, but that's gonna be really exciting to take you guys on the journey with the drift car. Now today, we are gonna be checking out some stuff with the cars, because I know for a fact there's something wrong with the United 2, because we tried to put some screen wash in it the other day, and now the bonnet doesn't open. Great. Pretty sure there's a mouse in the 930. I'm pretty sure that my bike has a chain that is so rusty I can probably not move it. So we're gonna be doing some admin. Oh, and I've just had something delivered to tide me over for a little bit, um, whilst we start making some decisions, making some videos about what's coming next. So let's crack into it. We're gonna be doing these little weekly vlogs where we uh, see what I'm getting up to. Let's go. So here we have the United 2 M3. To be honest to her, she is holding up. The wrap on this car is absolutely brilliant. Shout out to guys down at High Caliber Detailing because this car is completely covered in salt. So that's one thing I need to do today. But we also noticed when I got into the car, need to give it a bit of a hoover as well. I went to make sure everything is all hunky-dory under the bonnet. And for some reason, so is it? The latch itself. Is, is it the latch? Yes, it's so. Oh. Oh God. What, like it just seizes or something? Yeah, so we'll use some cable ties. Yeah. To yank it over. Yeah. So that'll open it. And then we just spray the latch. And get it moving again. Seems to be a pretty common fix. Here we go. This is why we. This is why we have Fraser. And we also need to put this splitter on. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do this today because I need to get a jack from the garage. But this has a replacement coming, which will be good because I actually wanted a slightly deeper new front splitter on there. But that's probably not a job we can do today. I just want to get this open because I need to do the screen wash. <laughs> Use your words, Pecky. Use your words. <laughs> Bonnet stuff is so annoying, but it's better we get it sorted than. I mean, this looks really fiddly. It is, and I got so where fat, do you have to... oh. fat hands. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a like there's like a hole in the latch itself, so you can get. Do you want me to do it? Through. No, I'm a big, strong, tough man. <laughs> I won't be woman splained too. <laughs> I get, uh, do you just have to like hook it through there? Yeah, it's just so you can give it a good yank. All oh, right, okay. Because it'll just yank, it'll let it move. It's because you can't, like, if there was no bonnet in the way and you were doing this job, it would just be like a bonk and it'd be moved over. But I don't know why they do it. I but don't know. There was tons of Americans on United Forums like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mine did it too. <laughs> okay, well, this is probably going to take a few seconds, so we're just going to put a little insert right here. <laughs> Did that work? No, I just broke the cable tie. Oh, you broke the cable tie. <laughs> and again. Okay. Do we have yeah, succession? Yeah, nice to work it. There we go. So what was the actual problem? So the actual bit here wouldn't go up. It was kind of seized. Okay. So Should we just... I'm going to give him a good old... This is the silicone one as well. Whoa. So hopefully... That yes. should... Okay. Cool. Well, there you have it. Job one. <laughs> Can't use that. No. <laughs> well, that's... Oh god, this is going to be Fraser. Now, well, at least we've got that open anyway, so we can give this all a nice little clean up as the car deserves it. I'm going to leave a little hoover out as well. Well, job one. We're flying. Lovely. Very oh. scented. Nice and colour coordinated. It smells delicious over here. It does. Why do they make them scented for when you're like... Well, you can kind of smell them in the part when you're in the car, can't you? You get a little mist. But it's a weird thing to just make leave, scented. Just leave your window open and spray. Just drink it. What? So, one other thing that I did notice, and I uh, have been taking a look at the 930. 
I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that when I pulled all the carpets out the front of the car, I did actually find that I'd been housing a small visitor for a while and he'd made himself very much at home in the microfibers I'd left in the front of the car. So that is another thing that I need to sort out. But he's made an absolute mess. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So uh, as you can see, whoever, whoever decided to be in here for a little bit has uh, had... Oh my god, I thought that was... <laughs> well, he's made a comfy bed out of these at least, yeah. right? But I have checked and had a look at all the wiring in the front of the car and there is nothing damaged. He obviously was just in here for a little while. So this needs cleaning up as well. I don't even know how a mouse has got in... I don't even know how a mouse has got in here. I'm guessing it's a mouse. Yeah, but you're quite lucky. If this had been like a front engine car, there's tons of wires that you could have gone through a little one and then just, you know, you're chasing it forever. Yeah. So like, he picked a good home. For you. <clears throat> I'll be honest, towards the end of last year, I was working so much that a couple of my cars got a tiny bit neglected, and I'm a bit upset about this one, but we're going to get it sorted. This is still solvable, because I've just had a look at the bike as well, and the chain's not in good condition. Oh, no. <laughs> you know that you're getting uh, moving on in your life, I'm not even going to say the words, when you get a Karsha wet dry vac for Christmas and it's all very exciting. It's got a blower function. That means I can blow leaves out of places. What did you call me? <laughs> no, I'm really excited to try this. Do I have to put the bag in it to blow it? I wouldn't say so. All right. Power on. Do you have to plug that in there? Yeah. I'd say that goes in there. Which end goes in where? Whichever one fits. Oi, oi. There we go. Why is it peeing? Oh, that's the. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed that. That works really well, but the hose is leaking. Christ. Oh my god, it's so cold. Right, we need to put some shampoo in here. Do you think I should keep the pink? I'm thinking about using this car for more fun stuff this year. Like, I want to put one of those CAE shifters in it um, and take it out on a drive somewhere where I can drive it. It's more fun. So maybe, what do you think? I want the answers in the comments below. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe we keep the pink. I like the pink, I like it. This is going to be so blasphemously cold. I sound more and more like my dad every day, don't I? Yeah. My hands are already freezing. I get that Reynards thing, you know, where the ends of your fingers just go white and they feel like they're going to fall off, they just hurt. Well, at least you've got a nice warm hat on. Right, let's get all this salt off this car. I'm well impressed with the, the vac. Yeah. I like it Using the infamous two bucket method. Always. One girl, two buckets. Younger, we've got the car shows, and this would not be an issue, it'd be great fun. Yeah, and then now it's like, oh, I need oh, to go. Lads, my hands are so cold. And the thing is, I used to really enjoy doing this. It used to be like a rite of passage, you know, like cleaning your car was just something it'd be like, yeah, I think in one degree. I have just found the largest spider in here as well. I don't know what is going on. It's like my garage is just like a nice, warm place for all of these animals. Look at the size of this. Ooh. Oh, you can see his legs. Oh, that's huge. That's actually my, oh my God. Maybe I should blow it with my thing. You what? What'd you call me? Nothing. <laughs> right, let's go out and drive the United States. Let's go have some fun. I have just had this delivered, which is this beautiful Bentayga. It's the hybrid one. So it's gonna be very interesting to live with this for uh, a little bit. 
because as I say, not getting amazing fuel economy right now. And this is actually stunning. I love the color of it, but I'm gonna make a video on this so you guys can see this very soon on the channel. But for now, let's get into this car. Just turn her around. Back to kill myself. Oh, yep, trying not to take that. Grass. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Look, we've got a new splitter. It's <laughs> fine. Okay. It's a <laughs> yep. So, I will say, since losing the G80, I have been back in the E92 M3, and I've forgotten how much fun this car is. They're so nicely balanced. I had this car corner weighted, didn't I? Yep. And it all set up at String Theory. That was that makes a whole world of difference, especially if you've got suspension on a car. So I put the BC Racing coilovers on it, just so it lowered it. Oh, big tractor. Big tractor. And to be honest, modifications wise, I don't even have a back box on this car. I just have the- I don't think it needs it. The Eventuri on the front and the sound of it, I think it's good. Yeah, it also doesn't make your neighbours want to like get you an asbo on you as well when you start up. Well, the 930 is way worse. Yeah, the 930 gets away with a lot because people see it and go, it's Makes sense. Very. But Makes you sense. see like a bright pink. Do you think I should keep the pink? Yeah, I like the pink. I like the pink. Yeah, yeah. Do you like the pink? Do you like the pink? I don't. Yeah, no, I think it's a great colour. Um, when it needs to, I need to put that front splitter on. I'm going to yeah. fit that next week. We're going to maybe change the wheels i'm thinking because we're working with strong wheels again this year i'm going to see what they have yeah for the e92 maybe something a little bit more aggressive because i did want to put pole positions are you looking at that dog with the jumper on again yeah its body was so its head was so big but body so small <laughs> it was like a, it was like a really big person wearing spanx <laughs> so i wanted to put recaro pole positions in this car but i will say the bomb warmers in this are yeah. beyond excellent. I, I would say they were better than in the carbon bucket seats. Yeah, it's so warm and comfortable. Recaro do a, a heated option as well, but we'd have to work out what the actual plug-in for that is to make it yeah. all work. It might be super simple, but Recaro might just do a kit. I do want to put the CAE shifter in this as well. Yeah. I don't really want to make like massive end. I was talking about supercharging it and I thought we could do that. What kind of MPG would you get? Like five. You would accelerate once and be like, oh, tank. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This cost, I think it was like 87 quid to tank it. Yeah. And I can go to Heathrow and back, and it pretty much needs a new tank of. It's unreal, because even if you're not like on it, you're going nuts. If, even if you're just cruising it. Yeah, but I've noticed the other day, if you're doing 70, 70 on the motorway in six gear, it's at like 3,000 revs. These are incredible things though, like they're such a good sounding car, they move so well, they're yeah. so grippy. It's... Thanks. it's lovely. Yeah, great. And it's not too overpowering. Yeah. Mm. You, if I said you had to drive the S15 on the road. Great car. For like 40 minutes on the We're motorway. upgrading the S15, I've got some really exciting upgrades coming for it. We're fitting like all new PMU, like having yeah. ECU master upgrade on it. Cool. Um, Gonna finally get a new fuel pump as well, so we can actually increase the power. I'm hoping to just have it at a nice, solid, safe 500 brake. What was it just now? 430, 440? No, 440 it was in the end, I think. Yeah. I um, but I think that's fully solid. I mean, we're doing, like I said to you earlier, this is the first year where we're doing a full four four event program, which is really exciting. Because it's like, I've never had to sort of run a drift program before. Everything, like all the costs that are involved, the people that you need, everything like that. So it's been, a, it's going to be a real eye opener. Fraser's going to be in charge of that. It's exciting. Oh! <laughs> yeah, no, now, it's going to be good. I'm really excited for it. I think it's going to be good fun. And the car looks incredible, goes incredible. So yeah, it should be good. Do some events, see some people. We are. We're going to probably, well, hopefully LZ Fest again gonna do gravity show and there could be another event but that's not confirmed yet and what's the other one that we were going to do gravity lz uh, oh level. and all trace yeah we're gonna trace. go to we're hopefully gonna take the car out all the way to poland which we're really excited about 
Yeah, I mean, that's going to be like a, if it all works out, going to be a bit of a road trip, right? Yeah, and 100%. And a couple of friends want to go just drift in. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think the adventure... It's just lovely. Yeah. And the adventure will be good. <laughs> Do you know, actually guys, Fraser was the guy that was in the car with me when we had the G80 crash. So I was just really happy that everything was okay. I mean, you, I think you were just watching me run it like... Do you know, uh, uh, as much as there's not a funny story from it, oh, there is a, a, a little funny story. What's the funny story? So we'd obviously had the hit and um, come to a stop and that car had all the airbags and everything off, so there's a bit of dust, but you can't see because it's curtains and yeah. legs and stuff. And you asked if I was all right, and the car automatically dialed the emergency services. Oh, it did, didn't but it? it? But it does it full blast. Yeah. For audio, so it's like, police, fire, ambulance. I, I was full blast. <laughs> But you, you like asked if I was all right, and then just jumped out of the car and disappeared. Because I, like, I wanted to see, I was it like- was, It was that adrenaline thing though as well, but you took off and gone. I was sat there like, I need to get her back because I don't know where we are in the middle of the road or are we in oncoming traffic. You're gone. This thing's screaming at me and I'm like, I don't want to get out in case I'm like... In the middle of the road. In case I'm, I'm, I'm an arc's yeah. about to hit us. But you're gone and I'm like, what do I do? I was so stressed. I was yeah, so stressed. Yeah, understandably. I couldn't believe it. But anyway, look, we've closed that chapter. We're both okay and that's the main thing. Onwards yep. and upwards. I'm really enjoying driving the United 2 again. So I don't it's, know. It's I, such I, a good car. I think... The new car will probably come when the new registrations come in, probably sort of April, April time, or it's March, isn't it? April. We've got to find out what's actually out there and watch well, what. I keep looking at M2s and I'm going to borrow one for a little bit and see how I gel with it, but it's essentially the same car, isn't it? And I loved my M3 so much. Yeah. It was such a big girl car. Mm. But I think I might want to go for like an SUV type thing, but is that really boring? I don't know. I don't know. The car market's in a really weird place at the minute. No one really knows what's going on. Why are there only two shots? Oh, I'm going to go for that. Was. Those sheep like the sound. I mean... So, there you have it. That's the start of my plan to do weekly vlogs for you guys back on YouTube, just to give you an insight into my life, where I'm going and what I'm doing. This year is going to be a super busy year. I'm really excited. And now I have somebody on board, I can really focus on getting the content out for you. Uh, what else? What else? Doing a really exciting job for tomorrow. I will let you guys know what that is ASAP. It's a brand who have brought out something new and exciting. And I'm doing the walk around for them. So it's a big opportunity. I'm really excited about that. And also, Group B hats still available online. So if you want to get yourself one, I'm going to put the link right here. And and t-shirts to the video. Very good. See, look, that's what I said for. Right, gang, I'll see you next week. I made the promise now, I need to keep it. So I'll see you on the next video. Take care of yourselves and we will get moving on these cars and bring some fun. See you soon. Say bye. Bye. Bye.